don't forget to subscribe and turn on notification okay guys how are you doing i hope you're doing well welcome to our youtube channel in this tutorial we are going to learn how we can find a word in a phrase in advanced natural language which is cypress right so actually we are going to use cypress to find a word in a phrase make sure that you have installed cypress in your computer so here i start by importing cypress so import cypress then from cypress dot match dot nature import first nature first nature right after that we are going to this is actually an is english cypress dot load actually en underscore co underscore web underscore sm this is actually for for english en uh if you are you are you are doing in another language you try to find it uh, try to find a compatible and natural language processing for your 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 international language but this en underscore core dot web dot sm is used for english right then after first major first underscore major is equal to first major bracket and l vocab right after that we need to we need to to, to to write or we need to generate the word we want uh we want our program to match for mean that we need to write a word to find in a phrase so in a phrase we are going to find a word called monday right so here is the name of word we are going to search then after and help dot make underscore doc bracket text for text in monday youtube youtube so in a phrase i want to find it word monday and youtube right after that this is the name of this name days carries uh, these two words we are going to find right after that phrase nature dot add dot add i needed to add words i'm going to find them so days none days right after that text is equal to so this is this is an example of of a phrase so on monday i will travel to i will travel to canada to canada and attend youtube 
meeting meeting so this is that this is an example of a fresh so if you have a very large fresh just copy it and paste it in text after that doc doc is equal to an lp bracket text matches matches is equal to fresh matcher fresh matcher bracket doc after that i needed to print the the words matched in a phrase right so for match id for match underscore id start start and in matches then word found where the found are going to be stored in a variable named as word doc bracket start then end after that i needed to print words found right i needed to print words found so actually this is how our program looks like for matching a word in a phrase in advanced natural language which is cypress right just to remind you that cypress is an advanced right is a library for advanced natural language processing so i control s to make sure the changes are saved so after writing a complete program it's a time to run it on our terminal right so here i run this program to see what's happening as you can see monday and youtube are found here these were the two words we are finding in a phrase so monday and youtube are the words we find in our phrase named as a text and in your phrase the sentence is on monday i will travel to canada and attend youtube meeting so monday this one youtube this one so there are two words found in a phrase right so actually this is an end of our tutorial on how we can find the words in a phrase in natural language processing by using cypress thanks for watching just to put a short summary of what we have covered we have covered how we can use the natural language processing to find the match the words in a phrase here we loaded it. this is for english then after we generated the words we want to find which are amanda and youtube after that we added it the words we want to match in a match fraser because match fraser is is uh, it is it, its main function is to match th for words so after generating words we added them in match in phrase matcher then after we created a phrase after that we found if all match the words and print them right so actually this is an end of our tutorial of today do not forget to like put comment share and subscribe for the next video update thank you and see you in the next tutorials